Welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Politics and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. All right, so for this episode, we're going to feature cricket and rowing blazers. Uh, one of my favorite coffee table books is actually the book Rowing Blazers by Jack L. Carson. Uh, I was turned on to the book via Ralph Lauren social media several years ago uh, when they had a launch party for his book uh, at the Ralph Lauren Rhinelander Mansion. Caught the book and it's, it's a great coffee table book. It's, uh, I don't know, it might be 300 plus pages, about this thick. It's a big book. Uh, it's got uh, a rowing champion from the University of Wisconsin on the cover. But the book is basically, uh, it, it's dedicated to the rowing blazer. Um, the blazers that Ivy League schools and, uh, and schools overseas in the UK, etc. Uh, the blazers that the rowing teams wore uh, to and from events and after parties and things of that nature. Um, it's a culture. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's a lifestyle, but it's definitely a culture. It's definitely a college. Uh, it's a collegiate. It's definitely a collegiate culture uh, within uh, colleges and universities that champion their rowing teams. So uh, I was already into rowing blazers and cricket blazers, etc. Before the book. Uh, was launched, but it definitely put me over the top when it came to rowing and uh, rowing blazers in particular. But then I also branched into cricket blazers and and other uh, collegiate style apparel of that nature. So with that being said, we're going to do three rigs today, and the ensemble that I have on. This is a rowing blazer. This came out from Polo Blue Label about maybe, maybe three years ago. It has a fleece feel to it. It has the traditional stripes on the, uh, the mid, uh, not, not quite on the wrist, but on the mid uh, arm bar here. And then uh, it has your traditional rowing blazer piping. Uh, this is a, sign a signification of a true authentic rowing style blazer. That, the gold buttons, insignia, etc. I threw a pica square on today. I threw an Oxford Club uh, lapel pin on with it. I'm doing this Rugby Ralph Lauren sweater here with the, uh, because it gave me the matching colors that, I, you know, the color block uh, colorway that I, that I love so much the wine gold navy and college green it's got a uh, wine uh, chevron on the neck here i did a white dress shirt to pull out the white in the pocket square and then the piping along the uh, blazer and uh i did a the same colorway navy green uh wine and gold uh rep stripe all over Griffin necktie, real collegiate. And then I uh, also added the Polo Blue Label Skull and Bone White Denim Cropped Pants. And I have on the Merton Boat Shoe, which is navy, tan, and uh, wine. No socks. So this is a transitional outfit. This is uh, this is late winter going on into spring. This is 55, 60 degree weather, sunny to partly cloudy. Because for something like this, you don't want it to be too hot because we are layered. But you definitely don't want it to be too cold. These are all pretty much lightweight layers for when you're talking about a real winter. Which, as you already know, we don't get here in North Carolina. We don't get real winters anymore. Anyway. Without further ado, let's go on into the episode because I'm excited. I love the cricket blazers. I love the rowing blazers. So let's get to it. Y'all ready? 
me too. Let's go. First up the bat, this guy is killing him. Okay. This is this is hard. This is real hard right here. This is a cricket blazer. Cricket blazers I have these stripes, all right? But they do have, uh, just like your traditional rolling blazers, they usually tend to have gold buttons. They usually tend to be single vented in the back. Uh, material wise can vary for a Cricut blazer, but uh, the main thing you wanna understand is that they prob they're, they're gonna have these stripes like this and they should have gold buttons or something more, uh, more to that effect than just your typical black blazer, okay? This particular one came out uh, about two years ago online. It is Polo Blue Label. Wine with, to be honest, I'm, I'm almost positive these stripes are black, but if somebody told me they was navy, I wouldn't argue. All right, but with that being said, I think these are black stripes piped in white on the wine color Cricut Blazer. Gold buttons, as I stated before. Now, what I did, is I paired them with a pair of slim fit all over uh, skull and bone uh, chinos here in the uh, gunmetal gray with the gray skull and bones, all right? We paired all that together with this cricket sweater, Cape Nick cricket sweater, skull and bones, crossed oars, polo Ralph Lauren here, wine, black, trimmed in white. So, even though it's got the oars, it's still, it's still the, the, the feel, everything feels right. Even though it's got oars on it, you know, we can still, we can still rock it like that. We don't have to be too anal about that. Uh, finished it off with an ascot. I went with a uh, wine and cream ascot to, to, pick, to uh, pair everything together properly without uh, being too matchy-matchy. And then the belt, of course, has wine and a dark navy blue in it. Um, finish it off with a pair of, uh, uh, you could do, you could do black. You could do black. Matter of fact, you know what? I think I would do uh, a black pair of, I have a black pair of leather sneakers that are that have a little bit of white in it. You could do that. I'll probably uh, go with my black uh, dress shoes for this one, though. Uh, whether it's monk straps, tassel loafers, penny loafers, uh, you could definitely do black here. Now, you also could do brown, but I think black would probably look a little better, to be honest. Even though the middle of our belt is brown, I just feel like that black might might tie everything together a little better than brown would in this particular case. But yeah, this is uh, this is an amazing, an amazing cricket sweat. I mean, uh, this is an amazing cricket blazer. I'm tongue-tied today. It's kind of late, so y'all excuse me. But yeah, this is an amazing cricket uh, blazer. Let's go on to let's do let's do another cricket blazer. All right, this beauty is a uh, rugby Ralph Lauren cricket blazer. Now it does not have gold buttons, but it does have brass like a flat brass almost almost a, 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 a purposely faded copper or gold buttons but either way it's not your black buttons it's definitely something to uh to let you know that this is a cricket a cricket blazer okay uh it's a navy blue but it's a very light navy blue it's not french navy that french navy usually has a little fading to it a little a little weathered look to that french navy it's not aviator navy it's not that dark so it's a true navy striped in uh go with gold stripes beautiful beautiful piece i paired it here with uh, a pair of olive green chinos are these olive green or am i tripping i told y'all it's late no these are actually these are actually my gray chinos gray chinos brown belt Nice spread collar dress shirt in Columbia blue, navy, and white. And then we did this bow tie here. Uh, navy bow tie with the griffin and red stripes. So just, you know, a little, just a little bit more color with the red in it. But that griffin is yellow, so it pairs really well with the Cricut, uh, the Cricut blazer. 
And then uh, as far as footwear is concerned, what I did was I broke out the canvas, navy, white, and yellow uh, canvas sneakers to uh, just give it a more relaxed feel. I wanted to go a little more relaxed with this particular ensemble. And this is definitely something I would throw on, especially if I was, especially if I was hanging out in that particular environment, whether it's, uh, you know, just some, some type of event at a college or, you know, whatever. This is something I definitely would throw on. Um, really nice cricket blades. This is one of my favorites actually too. And uh, it's single vented in the back. No numbers or anything on it, man. It's just, it's, it's dope in its simplicity. And uh, anytime I've worn it, you know, it's definitely been a, 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 a conversation piece to say the least. All right, so let's do one more and then we'll be out of here. For our final rig, we're gonna do a rowing blazer. Uh, this one is pretty iconic. I know quite a few collectors that own this particular Polo Blue Label rowing blazer. Uh, it's different from your traditional rowing blazer with this particular piping. It has piping, however, it's more of a needlepoint uh, rope style piping, okay? The uh, rolling blazer itself is a navy, it's an aviator navy, uh, and it's, the piping is trimmed in a, uh, a light royal blue and a gold. It alternates uh, about a, I'm gonna say, two to one ratio of the royal to the gold, and it goes all the way around and, and, and uh, the entire lapel and trimming of the blazer. So, and it does have the gold buttons uh, with a collegiate insignia on there. Man, this is a beautiful piece. Um, crested here with a crest and your crossed oars, uh, Polo Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, Polo, Polo Rowing Club, I'm sorry, that's a C. Polo Rowing Club. Polo Rowing Club written here in the banner, and this thing is beautiful. I paired it with a pair of light royal uh, slim fit chinos here. I did a uh, club collar dress shirt. Now it's different from your traditional club collar dress shirt in that uh, the actual club collar is also striped. So it's a cream, or I would say an off-white. It's an off-white with uh, light blue stripes and then the uh, shirt itself is light blue base with a little bit of white and navy blue stripes the necktie came out a decade after this particular uh rolling blazer however it just fits perfect it's navy gold striped has a crest on it with cross oars and polo written over the top of each crest uh the back the back when you flip the collar up you get a rugby royal Rep stripe with uh, the uh, the gold stripes under under the lapel. So again, just another beautiful detail, another beautiful feature of this uh, this iconic rowing blazer. All right. Now, uh, oh, and also too, the pockets are trimmed with the uh, the rope trimming as well. Now, shoe wise, brown shoe. You can go any brown shoe though. You can go from a boat shoe to a canvas sneaker all the way up to a tassel loafer, uh, a brogue, whatever you want to do. Me personally, when I wear it, just to put that final touch on it, I, I own these, these Rugby Ralph Lauren beauties here. Navy base, lint, navy blade, base, uh, rowing club here in the center with crossed oars so again it pairs with everything here and then it has stripes throughout the uh the edging of the uh shoe that is light blue and white so it pairs perfectly with this particular ensemble again brown works perfect but this is what i i, I go with just because i have them and it's a perfect pairing it's, it's a match made in heaven uh, Again, rowing blazers, uh, to me, like I, I'd wear one, I'd wear one anywhere. If I was going out for the day, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, if I was going out with, uh, 
with uh, you know friends or, or whatever like to me it's the operative word is is blazer it's a sports coat i throw it on you know what i mean um but also too like whenever i am able to travel abroad and the world is open back up i would love to go to the henley royal regatta and definitely a rowing blazer is going with me um if i was going to if I was going to a tennis match or if I was going to, to watch a cricket match, I'd wear a cricket blazer. Like, you know, to me, that's a given, but it doesn't have to be something that you only wear to those particular events, man. Like, just have the confidence to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to throw my cricket blazer on today or I'm going to throw my rowing blazer on today or, or, or whatever. Just, you know what I mean? Don't feel like you have to be restricted because... Uh, the particular piece was made famous by a particular sport. So with that being said, that's a wrap. Take my word for it. I just sipped this, okay? It was, <laughs> it was such a heavy pause between my sip and me being able to talk. Because this bird dog whiskey ain't no joke. She's strong, bro. She's strong. But I like drinking it as a nightcap. Now, this is a little more. I poured a little too much probably. This this is the peach flavor, by the way, and it's good. It's just strong. Um, but I like, like, this is the only time I drink is I have a nightcap. Like, I'm the true definition of a nightcap because I drink, I drink a, uh, some whiskey and I go to sleep for eight hot. No matter what time it is, I'm gonna go to sleep for a hop. Um, it's just a buzz, but it's enough for me to conk right on out. So it's great for me to, to drink one of these at the end of the night. And I don't do it every night. Maybe maybe three nights a week, I'll you know, get me a nice glass of whiskey and just drink it and then sleep good. You know what I mean? Anyway, this thing here's a motherfucker. It's strong right here, boy. Whew. But that's another episode in the books. Today we did the Cricket Blazer and the Rowing Blade. And again, just if you if you if you're looking to get into them, either one of them, just be continue being confident in yourself. And don't look at it like, oh, I can only wear this to this fun. Man, throw your blazer on, man. Throw it on. You can throw it on with a button-up shirt and no necktie. Nice pair of chinos. If you want to do some jeans, you can do some jeans. Your favorite, your favorite pair of loafers, man, and it, and it's a, it's a vibe, you know. It's a vibe. So don't feel like you gotta be restricted or you gotta, you know, be part of team do to, doing too much or whatever, man. Like it's it's a blazer or a sports coat at the end of the day, all right. Anyway, uh, oh, I want to tell y'all, man. Um, Next week's episode is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be something that that all of us men need to understand. It's gonna be something that all of us men need to hear, and you're gonna hear it from me. Cause y'all know me, man. I don't hold my tongue. I don't, I'm not politically correct a lot of the times. I say what I feel. All right. So the episode is not it's not gonna be an indictment on anybody. It's not nothing that serious, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be educational. I guarantee you're gonna learn something. So definitely you wanna make sure that you're here for next week's episode. And tell a friend. And hit that like, hit that subscribe, and then tell a friend again, cause we here drinking this bird dog. Artists paint pictures, haters, they paint narratives. So don't be no hater. Don't let nobody mess with your mental health, man. Alright? Y'all have a good one. Pray for us.